YouTube, how's it going today? I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about the Hisui Pokedex in Pokemon Legends Arceus because I feel like the game itself did not do a very good job of explaining how the hell this thing works. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna to try to keep this explanation as short and precise as possible. So basically like every other Pokedex, we have the Pokemon that we've seen and the Pokemon that we've caught, but they added a new mechanic this time around where you have to do certain tasks to complete a Pokedex entry. And that revolves around doing specific research tasks that are specific to each different Pokemon. So in order for an entry to be considered complete, you only have to get to a research level 10. So if you take a look here on my Pokedex, the Pokemon that have a Pokeball next to their name means that I've caught them and I've completed the research up to level 10. So that's considered a complete entry. Pokemon that are grayed out, obviously that means that I've seen them, but I haven't caught them yet. And if you take a look at Crobat, you can see that I've caught him, but I haven't completed enough research tasks for him to be considered a complete Pokedex entry. So there's a couple things that I think you should look at before you decide how you want to approach completing these tasks. First thing you're going to want to look at is the red arrows. So if the task has a red arrow next to it on the left, that means that each tier that you complete in that category is going to be worth two research points. So like number of gold bats caught, I've caught one. So that is giving me two research points. Number of alpha specimens caught. Notice that the box is checked gray. So there's no red arrow. So each task I complete there is only gonna be worth one research point. So I've caught one gold bat and it happens to be an alpha. So that's how I get my level three research. And so now looking at this and breaking it down, the fastest way to get this Crobat to research level 10 looks like it's going to be using Leech Life because that's going to give me two points and using an Agile style move because that's going to give me two points as well. And if I'm lucky, I can use an Agile style Leech Life and then that'll complete two research tasks at the same time. We're going to go ahead and take Crobat into battle. We're going to use Leech Life. We're going to use it in an Agile style and we're going to complete those bottom tasks. Sorry, Badoof. So check it out. So we got Leech Life. We're going to go Agile style and poor little Badoof. So now let's take a look at our Pokedex. So you can see we now have a research task completed in times you've seen it use Leech Life and times you've seen it use an Agile move. Each one of those is gonna be worth two points. So that's gonna take us up to a research level seven. So if we complete one more in each of those tiers, which is just to do it two more times, then we should be able to complete the data right there. So let's go find some more Bidoof. So once again, Leech Life, Agile style, easy money. So that's three. So let's take a look now. So now we have four unreported tasks that are each worth two points. So that's a total of eight points plus the three we already had. That's going to put us at 11. So we should be able to complete the research here. So we're going to go back to the professor and we're going to report our new research findings. He's going to ask if you can see your Pokedex. You're going to show it to him and boom, you can see Crobat has a Pokeball next to it now because that entry is complete. So now that we reported our tasks, you can see that it still puts us at a research level 10, even though it's 11. That's because 10 is the only thing that's required for it to be considered complete. But fun little thing I learned yesterday when I completed my first full research for a Pokemon. If you look at Shinx, I've completed every category, every tier that he has. And now instead of just a regular Pokeball next to his name, he has a shiny Pokeball next to his name. And the reason for that is because when you complete research fully for a Pokemon, it increases your odds of finding a shiny version of that Pokemon out in the wild. So why would you want to complete your Pokedex to level 10 research? So it is my understanding, spoiler alert, that in order to fight and catch Arceus, you have to at least see every Pokemon in the Pokedex. And then to obtain the shiny charm, you have to complete a research level 10 for every Pokemon entry in the Pokedex. So I, I spent a lot of my time during the main storyline completing research for these Pokemon. So I don't have that many more to go. I should be done by the end of the week, I hope. So it's just more of a completionist thing. I personally want the shiny charm because I want to do some shiny hunting and I want to give myself the best odds I can. But yeah, I, I just kind of feel like the game drop the ball on explaining how this works. I posted a TikTok about it and a lot of people were under the impression that you had to complete every research task in order for it to be considered a complete entry. But according to the Pokedex guidelines, it does not go past level 10 because that's all it needs. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did subscribe and drop a like, it would be much appreciated. I'll see you guys next time.